Hello everybody, in this video, we are going to see STM32 blue pill with the ST7735 display. It's here. I have drawn some circle and some text. Let's get started with this. The wiring diagram is here. The labels are here. Here it's hidden inside. I have also typed it here. SCL to A5, SDA to A7, REST to B0, DC to B1, CS to B10, VD to 3.3. G and D to G. The wiring connections are like this. This side and this side. Now I have opened the Cube IDE. If anybody doesn't know how to install Cube IDE, I have made a separate video. It's available here. Now we can click System Core, click Sys. For the debug, select Serial Wire. And we use the high speed clock for the high speed clock crystal ceramic resonator. Then we change this to 72 in this area, 72 megahertz. And we click, we enter, click OK, it will set the frequency. Now click the pin out of configuration again and connectivity. And then SPI1, we select the mode to half duplex master. And then configuration, parameter setting, and we change the prescaler to 32. And then we make PB0, PB1, PB10 as GPIO output. One done. This is all the setting. We can click save. Now for the code, I have created a website and I, uh, in this address, I put the address in the description below. I and mean, when you go below, the diagram pictures are here. The QYD setting is here. We have already done. The library and the code is here. I have taken the library from this address and click font.sh and we click the font name and copy and come to cube IDE and expand the core, include and right click INC and new file and paste the file name in this area you can type also and finish and in this area and we copy and paste this. We copy all of them and then we paste it here. Now we can save and then close. Likewise, we do the other two files. We go back here. There are two more files. I do it quickly. Now these three files are done. Go back. Now there are three more files that core SRC folder. We click the fonts.c and then copy this one. And uh, now in this one core SRC folder. This here we right click and new file. And the same way we Copy and paste all three files. Copy all of them. And then we paste it here and we save and then close. Same way I do it quickly. Other two files. I'll do these two quickly. Now we have included all six files and then in the main.c file user code begin in includes we copy these four lines. That's the main.c file that's here and the include is here and we paste and then 
use of code begin two. We copy this one, only this line, and we go below. In here, we paste, and then finally, the while loop we copy from here until here. And then we paste it here. What it does is we, it fills the screen with the black color and then different font and uh, micropita and the first point zero zero the color is black. Uh, sorry, color, color is red. And then another coordinate and this line and then different font and then green color. And finally, different coordinate and this March 2023 and the font size and the blue color and then delay it and then what I did is I I draw a circle and the, the draw circle uh, thickness is very thin so I draw few few circles like a, a green color circle I draw five of them red color four of them we will see in the display uh, that's all we I done and we can click save and then we click this button to upload the code. Now you can click the debugger and you can use the GDB server, but I, I use Open OCD and then show generator option go below for the reset mode software system reset and click apply click ok as we can see there's zero errors zero errors and zero warning all good it's done all uploaded let's see again it is like this circle and then the text the circle I draw using the draw circle statement with the center coordinate and the radius and the color like this if you go to the gf, gfx function dot h I opened already opened here it's here uh, you can use these things like a uh, for the line you can use these two coordinates, XY coordinate and the final XY coordinate and the color and the line and the rectangle and triangles are here. You can try. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, write down in the comment section below. I try to answer as much as, much as I can. Thank you. Bye.